in order to revitalize the construction of domestic hydropower projects. China has spent 180 billion and planned for 70 years to build the largest hydropower station in the world, with a power generation capacity exceeding four Three Gorges dams. Once the project came out, it directly won six world firsts, making Western countries extremely envious. So how did China overcome all difficulties to build this hydropower station? Let's take a closer look in this video. Our China builds a world-class hydropower station by Heaton Hydropower Station. In a modern society with rapid technological development, China's power generation methods are becoming more and more diverse, such as hydropower, wind power, nuclear power, photovoltaic power generation, etc., are all good clean energy sources. From 1994 to 2009, it took China 15 years to build the world's largest Three Gorges hydropower station. In addition to the Three Gorges Dam, China now has another world-class hydropower station unveiled. This hydropower station spent a huge amount of 180 billion yuan and won six world firsts. It is known as one of the most difficult hydropower projects in China and even in the world. It is the Baiheaton Hydropower Station. Basic Situation of Baiheaton Hydropower Station The Baiheaton Hydropower Station is located in the lower reaches of the Jinsha River at the junction of Sichuan and Yunnan in China. It is currently the largest hydropower project in the world with installed capacity and the second largest hydropower station in the world after the Three Gorges. The dam of Baiheaton Hydropower Station is 295 meters high, equivalent to the height of a 100-story building ranking fourth in the world, with a water storage level of 825 meters. 8.03 million cubic meters of concrete were poured for the construction of the dam, more than three Khufu pyramids. If the total amount of excavated earthwork is converted into a concrete wall of one cubic meter, its length is enough to circle the earth twice. The entire Baiheaton Reservoir has a total capacity of 20.6 billion cubic meters and a flood control storage capacity of 7.5 billion cubic meters, which is equivalent to 525 West Lakes. It is an important part of the Yangtze River flood control system and has further improved the flood control standards of cities along the downstream coast. In addition, Baiheaton Hydropower Station also has several unique black technologies. For example, the hydroelectric generator it uses is currently the most powerful single hydroelectric generator in the world, with a power generation capacity of more than 1 million kilowatts. It is said that it can generate more than 170 degrees of electricity in one rotation, and the energy generated by running for 24 hours is enough for 500,000 people for a whole year. If 16 hydroelectric generators generate electricity at full speed, the total power generation capacity is enough to supply a super large city use. Moreover, it also has the largest underground factory workshop in the world, because both sides of the strait are large-scale equipment that is difficult to build on a flat site. The Baiheaton hydropower station lacks enough space to install various equipment so that it can only install generators and other equipment in the in the underground factories on both sides of the strait. Therefore, the total volume of the final underground powerhouse is larger than two water cube, the National Aquatic Center of China. And it can accommodate all equipment including 16 generators, which is sufficient to ensure the stable operation of the hydropower station. The Construction Difficulty of Baiheaton Hydropower Station 
So what are the characteristics of Baiheaton Hydropower Station and why is it so difficult to build? First, the complex terrain of Baiheaton increases the difficulty of construction. The Baiheaton Hydropower Station relies on the water of the Jinsha River. The entire Jinsha River is 3,481 kilometers long and has a drop of more than 3,300 meters. Although the steep terrain provides a nearly perfect prerequisite for hydropower generation, it also means that construction is more difficult. It is obviously extremely difficult to drive the construction vehicle up such a high drop, but if the construction vehicle cannot drive up, how can the workers start construction? With the experience of successfully building the Three Gorges hydropower station, the designers quickly came up with a solution. They built a steel frame between the two mountains, pulled up the rope, and used this method to transport the concrete mixer truck from the air to the corresponding location. Second, the Baiheaton hydropower station uses a concrete double curvature arch dam, which is a world-class extra-high arch dam. Let me briefly explain what an arch dam is in advance. Dams are mainly divided into arch dams and gravity dams. The Three Gorges Dam uses gravity dams. The gravity dam mainly relies on the pressure generated by its own weight to offset the water pressure while the arch dam uses its special curved surface to transmit water pressure to the rock mass on both sides, allowing the rock mass to resolve the huge pressure difference. In this way, the pressure on the dam is naturally reduced. Then why doesn't Baiheaton use a gravity dam like the Three Gorges Hydropower Station? This is because the drop of the Baiheaton hydropower station is very large and the actual conditions do not allow it. It just so happens that the water surface at Baiha Beach on the Jinsha River is narrow and the hard rocks on both sides also provide a good foundation for the use of arch dams, which can just bear the water pressure transmitted by the arch dam. After comprehensive consideration, the arch dam has naturally become an obvious choice. Economic Effects of Baiheaton Hydropower Station According to incomplete statistics, the Baiheaton Hydropower Station has cost more than 180 billion yuan. Is it worth the money? Did China miscalculate the benefits that the Baiheaton Hydropower Station could bring and made a loss-making deal? In fact, although China spent a lot of manpower, material and financial resources to build the Baiheaton Hydropower Station, it is definitely a bargain. As a hydropower station, the reason why China is willing to spend a lot of money on it is of course because of its hydroelectric power generation capacity. After the Baiheaton hydropower station is fully put into operation, it can produce about 70 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. If such a huge amount of electricity is used for production, it will bring huge economic effects to China. Even if the Baiheaton hydropower station is a money printing machine is no exaggeration. As a major project for the development of Western China, the Baiheaton hydropower station can also help the West to East power transmission after the completion of the construction and has a very high ability to benefit development. At present, the 800 kV DC UHV transmission project from Baiheaton to Suzhou has started construction. The total length of the line is 2,088 kilometers. After completion, it can transmit 30 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year and also will solve the problem of uneven distribution of resources in China and fully improve the efficiency of resource utilization in China. Based on the above points, we can easily draw a conclusion. China's spending money to build the Baiheaton hydropower station is not stupid people with a lot of money, on the contrary, it reflects China's long-term strategic vision.
Prospects for China's Promoting Construction of Large-Scale Hydropower Stations With the rapid development of China's national power, the main battlefield of China's hydropower development has gradually shifted to the southwest region, including the Jinsha River, Lantsang River, Nujiang River, and Yarlung Zhangbo River. These waters have complex topography and serious soil erosion. Building large-scale projects in these areas is undoubtedly grand and arduous but of great significance. After Baihetan hydropower station is completed and put into operation, it will give full play to the huge comprehensive benefits such as flood control, shipping, and water resource utilization. It can save about 19.68 million tons of coal, reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 51.6 million tons, reduce sulfur dioxide emissions by 170,000 tons, and reduce other nitrogen oxides by about 150,000 tons. The effect of energy saving and emission reduction is remarkable, and it is a very environmentally friendly clean energy. The total amount of hydropower development in China is large, but the overall development level is still relatively low, and there are problems such as uneven distribution of hydropower and power transmission that cannot keep up. China's hydropower technology has reached the world's leading level. As another iconic water conservancy project in the world, the Baihetan hydropower station has started to generate electricity. Let us praise the Chinese builders. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.